What's up world? Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn how to make butternut squash soup. And here's how. First, you remove the skin. Second, you cut the squash into half. Third, you remove the seeds or pits. Make sure all of the seeds or pits have been removed from the squash. Next, after that, you cut into cubes as shown here in this video. Please preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Do not put your squash in and then turn your oven on to 400 degrees. Make sure that your oven is at 400 degrees before you put your squash into the oven. These are the ingredients you need. First, you need olive oil. Then, you need pepper. Then, salt. Then, chicken stock. Then, butter or margarine. Then, cumin. Then, half an onion. Dill. And finally, three cloves of garlic. Okay, so you put the butter squash into the tray. And then you put some olive oil. Then you put some pepper. Then you put some salt. Then put it in the oven for 15 minutes. So first thing we got to put is butter or margarine into the pot. Wait until hot then put garlic and onion. Now you put the garlic. Okay, so now you put diced onion, the onion that you diced earlier, into the pot and you mix it and saute it. Mmm, I wish you guys were here. The aroma is just awesome. Next, you add, you add a pinch of salt, okay? Mmm, all the things mixed together in the pot smell so good. It smells awesome. We're just waiting for the uh, squash now. Mmm, look at the roasted squash. So, you can tell if it's ready if you poke with a knife or fork into the squash. The squash is now ready and you can now put it into the pot. Okay, so we're now putting the squash into the pot. Okay, so I'm sure you guys don't want to see this because it's pretty much self-explanatory and we're going to go to the next step now. Okay, so the next step is you simmer for 10 minutes and then you put some stock. Now the stock you can either get from the store or you can make it yourself. If you make it yourself, it's much better. Uh, you can either make it from... You can make the stock with... Uh, turkey bone. 
or chicken bone. So don't forget to simmer for 10 minutes. And as you can see, we're adding the chicken stock. Now that the soup is boiling, you can put some cumin or dill in your soup. It's up to you. Okay, see? The soup is boiling. And you can put some dill or cumin. Mmm, the aroma tastes or smells so good. Too bad we don't have smell of vision. Okay. Continue to simmer for another 7 to 10 minutes. Okay, so the soup is done now. And uh, I recommend that you let it cool down first before you put it into the blender. Uh, the reason is because it's really hard to put it into the blender when it's hot and you could potentially burn yourself and you wouldn't want to burn yourself would you not only that you could break the uh, blender glass you know uh, and that wouldn't be a cool thing to do um, so we're just gonna wait for it to cool down you probably about five to ten minutes is enough Okay, so now the soup is cool enough to put into the blender. Uh, what I recommend that you do, folks, is that you put it little by little into the blender because the soup is still hot, you know what I mean? So... Mmm, it smells delicious. I'm so hungry now. So... We're putting it little by little into the blender, as you can see there. Okay, so... See, you're adding a little bit, not too much, so that it doesn't burst. Okay, so we're blending the blender now. And as you can see, there's a towel on the top. You should put a towel on the top of the blender because uh, so that the soup doesn't uh, burst. And it's really hot. So now you have to pull the lid off to let the steam come out. You see? Look at the steam. So that um, to let it cool off before you pour the uh, soup into your dish, serving dish. Um, and so that the glass of the blender doesn't break. So now we're pouring it into the serving dish mmm smells delicious and just in case you guys didn't hear me uh, you want to put a towel on top of the blender on top of the lid to protect your hands from the heat of the soup, okay, so that the soup doesn't uh, blow up uh, out of the blender. Okay. Okay, now the soup is ready and look at the color. The color is very nice and you know that you've properly cooked the soup. 
you can add some parmesan cheese see and some black pepper and that's it ready to serve and ready to eat enjoy your soup and uh, this soup is very good for winter keeps you nice and warm and it's healthy for you at the same time well thanks for watching my youtube channel and my youtube videos and if you like my video please subscribe please rate this video and please leave your comments below and please click on my sponsors so that we can continue to make more youtube videos thanks for watching see you soon guys